Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's a snowy, lazy day. I wouldn't say lazy, but we're not doing any physical labor today at the off-grid homestead. Uh, it's been snowing all day, now it's then it turned to rain, and it's going to freeze. We got about four inches of wet, heavy snow, and uh, now it's just sort of melting away. Um, today has been a lot of indoor work. Melanie's been working on whatever Melanie does, and I've been working on websites. Haven't been out much yet at all today, just because it was really wet, and uh, I've got a lot this is what you call a rainy day project, what I'm doing, and I'll show you. I have been working on the website, Recycled Palette Products, today. Um, needs a lot of programming. Don't you love Microsoft computers where you can see behind you better than the screen? I'm working on getting the Mac going. That will be nice. The Mac, I was never, ever a Macintosh user, I'll tell you, but... Microsoft uh, Windows 10 is turning me into a Mac user. I don't know. This is just this is a manufacturer's flaw with the uh, mirror image. But anyway, been working on recycled palette products, and today I've done some really cool things. I think um, I am hand coding an entire store myself. I am not using any else anybody else's software like I used to do. I would take some out-of-the-box package and I would modify it and customize the appearance and do whatever to make it look um, like whatever I wanted. But now, I'm hand coding all of this. And what I've done, and it doesn't look like a lot for a day of work, but for me it was hard uh, work, but I've got the coffee coasters online. And some of them are absolutely quite beautiful. And there's there's six of them that we've got up there now. I've still got more to get online. Uh, the hardwood ones I still have to get up there, and the off grid project ones I need to get on there. But there's the coffee coasters page, and I've got actually an intro page to the coffee coasters. So this is actually the coffee coasters page, and then we'll select a product and you'll see what happens. Now we have individual product pages, big image, and we've got a really nice close-up. No no fancy flash. I don't like all the flash and all the moving images and the things that distract your eyes. I just have a very static, uh, very basic web page. You can call me old school if that's what you want. But I've got all the product details and everything you can imagine. I want to say thank you to my sister Danielle for proofreading and helping me with the ideas on this. Cleaning up this page. Uh, we were working pretty late last night on that. Together on the phone. And uh, so there's the product details. And you got the add to cart here and the price. Nice and clean and neat. I don't like all the flashy websites. I don't like the web stores that have so much junk going on that you can't find the product information. I, I, I really don't like to be distracted. And here's what excites me. You can ask Melanie, Melanie, how did I act when I finished the programming of the breadcrumbs today? You're happy? I was happy. I was really happy, wasn't I? This here, this is called breadcrumbs on a, uh, on a web store. It's called breadcrumbs. So it shows you where you are in the store. So there's a home page, there's a product page, there's a coffee coasters page, and we can go back to coffee coasters by clicking it. And we can go back to the product. Let's go back to a product. And we can go to the products page, which I'm working on. It's not done yet. And then we can go back to the home page. So by clicking on the thumbnails, you can go forward and backwards throughout the uh, store and it shows you where you are so I also am putting all the products deep into their own file folder so there's a main products page then there's a coffee coasters page and then there's the tea lights page and then that branches off into the individual products and by the end of today those individual product pages will all be done it's a lot of work and put a nice look at how beautiful it is Melanie's work she used the 
um, knot in the wood to be part of the flower. That was a really neat piece of work she did there. But yeah, it was a lot of work developing this. And but now that I've got it, I can mass process, mass produce all of the product pages and use them as needed. Anyway, this is what I'm doing on this snowy slash rainy wintry day. Melanie's working on uh, woodworking, crafting. Hi Melanie. She was doing jewelry yesterday and she's doing woodworking today. We're uh, handcrafting a lot of our gifts for our family and friends as well. So Melanie is busy making <laughs> Melanie smoking wood. Alright guys, my coffee is boiling, so I'm going to get a coffee and get back to this. Talk to you later. Hi guys. Um, well it's cold out here. I'm in the off-grid workshop camper, and um, I've got a lot of coffee coaster blanks that I cut up when I went to Michigan. I prepared all these to uh, process back home in Michigan that time. But unfortunately, due to cold weather and some other things working against us, they all warped. They, they have a little bit of curve to them. And I've been trying to sand them, I've been trying to replane them through the, the big planer, and I tried everything. And no matter what I've done, I've failed miserably. Well, I've now got a way to make nice, neat, flat coffee coaster blanks using a uh, hand planer. And I'll tip it back down to the table here. Now what I have here is I made a jig to hold, it took me a lot of experimentations to get this, but what I've done is taken two pieces of pallet boards that were longer than the blank that I'm trying to plane, and then I've taken some wood clamps and clamped it down on the outside corner so that I still have room to run my planer through here. Now, I'm being very gentle here. I, I need to set up a stand for this as well, a piece of, uh, I'm going to make a jig a frame to hold my planer on so I don't set it on the blades. Anyway, I'm using a hand electric hand planer to plane this. So all I have to do, because it's, it's, it's an improvised situation here and the boards want to push up so I've got to push it down and hold it in place and then I can run my planer and you can see, um, let me show you one that's not yet done. I hope this shows up. The curve, yeah you can see that right? There's a serious curve to this wood now. And this one here is just like all the rest. It's curved in a bad way. So I'm going to put my hearing protection on and dust mask back in place. And I'm going to plane this flat and smooth. It's not a perfect solution, but it is plain in that flat for me. I've got a little bit of a groove here I've got to take off. Turn it around and hit the other side and it takes out the dip that I make. Now I'm hitting here in the edge just a little bit. I've got to spread these out further so I don't hit. Put this in the middle of the jig that I made. Of course when I'm on camera I get the imperfect one. That's how it always works. Alright, set this on there. Try to get it flat. Make sure I'm not hitting anything. Loosen these, flip it over, tighten these at the same time. Don't want to be too tight or the whole thing flops up in the air. That's why I've got to push down with my finger. 
Now I'll set this on there flat. Actually, I can almost do the whole pallet at one shot, the whole, whole piece. <laughs> Much better. Now I can undo these at the same time and pull that piece out. And we've got a perfectly flat coffee coaster blank. Now I'll show you. Let's take one. Uh, it's really badly warped and obviously warped and thinner on one side. Really bad shape. Okay. Put that in my jig here. And you can see this is one I think I tried to sand earlier. And it just wasn't working out for me. Make that in the center. Tighten it. Again, not too tight, just enough to hold it. I'm going to eventually, because I have so many blanks to, that I'm dealing with, and then I take them in the house for a while and uh, let them dry and stabilize because we're working in a cold environment out here. When I take them into the house, then sometimes they warp again a little bit. So. I'm going to make a, a, a wood platform with uh, screws and stuff that will hold this nicely for me. Getting this, uh, getting the feel of the hand planer is the trick. Any little dip that I make here is going to come off in the sander. But now I'm making a flat surface on the top of the coffee coaster. In the bottom, I should say, on both sides. So it's no longer warped. So your coffee won't spill. <laughs> I gotta get the feel of this planer again. I haven't used it in two years. But now we have a flat coffee coaster blank. No more warping. Now there's a little bit of curvature. I'm gonna take another little bit off this bottom side. I slip on that a little bit. It's going to take time to get used to the planer. Now we've got a flat unwarped coffee coaster blank. So it looks good. We'll throw in the next. We'll keep on going and process a mess of coffee coaster blanks. And that also reduces the amount of sanding I have to do by far. very smooth tool. Oh, this one has a crack, so there's a reject. That's sad, that gets rejected. This one's really badly curved. Let's see if we can pull that out. I don't know about this one with the knots in it. Let's see what can be done with it, if anything. I'm not sure.
And we got to take the bottom curves off. You can see I tried to sand this a little and failed. <laughs> Really badly. Beautiful wood once you open that up. Beautiful wood. I'm going to hit this side again just a little. There's a tiny bit of curve on there. No more curve. That was a bad, bad piece. And that's a beautiful piece that we can use inside. So I'm going to carry on here. This is what I'm doing here today. And uh, get a whole mess of coffee coasters pr processed for Melanie. And then, well, see what comes next. It's a beautiful sunny day and breezy. The wind turbine is turning. And uh, by the way, I get a lot of questions about wind turbines. Yes, they're hooked up. Well, the one is right now. And it is heating the shed. When it blows, it's connected to a heater for now in the shed for the winter. Um, sun is fully on the solar panels. It's cold though. And we have, what are we looking at here now? 13.1 volts, oops, 23 volt watts. Why? I guess it's getting late in the afternoon. 23 watts on the one set, four amps coming in on the other, so about 40 watts on one and 23 on another. I thought for sure there'd be more power coming in. That's odd. Late afternoon, sun is angled down, and that's it. That's all you get. About, uh, 40, 50 watts of power. Now I just dropped to 0.9 amps. Oh, uh, because it's partly clouder, cloudy. That's why. That's why the sun is behind a cloud. Although it's a clear sky everywhere else, the sun has got clouds covering it. Oh well. We got some power coming in. Um, I've got a board that may work for a shelf on here. So I've got to go measure it and see if I can get the new power inverter on there. I'm Afraid it might be a little bit too short, but we're gonna find out here in a little bit. Hey everybody, this is Troy and Melanie from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. 
Please subscribe and follow our daily videos as we strive to become self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching.